I know it doesn't have a flashing light on it. I keep telling everybody that I need a front facing camera. Or a camera with a, you know, a little flip around lens. Yeah. So I can see myself. <clears throat> I put that in the video, but nobody listens to me. You know, they can hook me up. Amazon, one of the viewers out there. Oh, well. Anyway. This is where we are. How y'all doing? Hey. Uh, we're actually in our in our house, even though it looks like we might be outside. Yeah, we're in our hallway. Yeah, one of the halls. Yeah. So I asked my husband the other day if he had changed his mind about wanting more one more child. He said We're gonna have to have this conversation in front of the camera. Yes. So we're gonna have this conversation. Y'all probably think I'm not but I want just one more. I mean, come on. We make beautiful babies. She clarified, see. Wanting more, wanting one more. It sounds very similar. <laughs> just one more. Then it's even, then there's four. Mm -hmm. And when I first got pregnant, because it was such a surprise, because I wasn't supposed to end up pregnant, and then we had just... You know, got the other two girls in foster care, and they were babies. And um, I thought, I want to have my pubes tied, because now that my, I know my baby's a girl, I'm not going to risk having another girl, because I'm already going to be in a straitjacket by the time I'm 40. So, um, but then when I had my last ultrasound with Maya, it kind of sunk in that it was my first time being pregnant and experiencing that, and it was beautiful, and I had a really good pregnancy, and I was like, I want to do this again. And then, of course, he said, well, I knew you would change your mind, I knew you weren't going to get your tubes tied, blah, 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 I knew you'd want one more. Well, then, you know, we talked about, like, right before Maya was born, mm -hmm. and, like, New Year's Eve, I think, mm -hmm. a couple weeks before she came, and... I haven't really discussed this, <laughs> but now that Maya's, I mean, she'll be four months old in a few days, and it's just flying by, which I know you parents out there know that, and I'm trying to cherish every moment, and it's just flying by, and it's making me have baby fever already. When she's still a baby, what you mean baby fever? Because <laughs> she's growing fast. I want one right now, but I don't want them. Yeah, baby fever. You might got a baby right here. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, I just, I don't want to wait, like, five years, and then it will be too far apart. You got enough kids. You got four-legged kids. You said you wanted one more. Now you're going to act like you don't want <laughs> I didn't say that. All right, so we had to have this conversation, because you apparently had some funny things to say. So I'm it's listening, because I haven't heard. It's already been funny talking about some funny things to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... What are these punchlines you got? Well, there's no, no punchlines. First of all, we got clarification because it was one more and not one one more. So we got the, the number no. down. One, I said one more. Wanting more, wanting one more. I specified very quickly on that statement. Oh, okay, all right. Put the addendum on there. So the reason that we're having one more other than being even is what? It's because we make pretty babies. <laughs> I thought it's because we want a boy. <laughs> well, we don't need to decide that. Well, hang on. First of all, she blames me. She said, you don't want to make the decision if it's a boy or a girl. Well, that's true. Yeah, it comes down to me. Yeah. I have no control over what you give me. I don't. Which, ultimately, you don't give it to me anyway. God figures all that out. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a switch. You know, I, can... I was <laughs> freaking out when I found out it was a girl, but then after... She was born, I was like, why was I ever upset about it? Because God knew us before we were ever formed in our mother's womb, so mm -hmm. why am I upset about what he blesses us with? Like, he knew her t time and time before we ever knew met each other. So, yeah. if our fourth one, it can be whatever God decides it will be. I'm not going to tell him what to do. I learned that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I would love to have a boy, but I'm good with healthy baby. Where are we at? Don't worry about it. Alright, so that's, that's really where I'm at. I mean, I'm, I've learned to be okay with 
Yeah. Whatever. Because I don't have control over it anyway, so why am I going to fret about it? Now, initially I thought, hey, we could have a fourth one, which would technically be our second, second mm -hmm. you know, one. Because um, I don't want to, I mean, I'm thankful I've had the opportunity to, to carry a child. I know many women want to and they can't and they never do. And so if I, if I'm able to again, I'm very grateful for the opportunity that I had to carry Maya. But if I am able to get pregnant again, I would love to have one more and see what we get. Conversation for the camera. Mm -hmm. Why? You didn't even talk. <laughs> you try to rope me into something. No, and, and all honesty, the, the running joke has been <clears throat> that, you know, we'll try to have one more. Oh, yeah. And it ended up being twins, you know. And then, you know, I don't know what we're going to do. Because we already moved to a place we really like, and we really don't want to move again. <laughs> I guess we just have to add on or something because we, you know, we're limited on space, but that's all right. The Lord will work out all those details just like he worked out the details with Maya. So. Yeah, he did. I mean, we're on a one-level ranch, which is great. We got property, so. Yeah. Did get that? Was it called a backhoe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's digging. Oh, yeah. So, yep. We'll see. Now, what I said was I like to try, start trying the end of next year because Maya will be going on too. And then that's he said I might be ready by then. I did say I might be ready by then because you know you got to look at it strategically. Right. If things fall in suit right away, <clears throat> that's nine or ten months. Mm -hmm. Why are you choking? And <laughs> nine or ten months, you know, depending on if there's one or two more, would dictate what we have to do as far as expansion on the homestead. So mm, that's why yeah. I was like, hey, you know. Well, next year, but it's 2020. So going into 2021. So I mean, it'd be over, it'd be like two years from now. Mm -hmm. Which I think is a good age gap between the next sibling. I mean, the three girls right now, it's like having our triplets, so they're plenty close together. But I wouldn't want our next one to be too far out down the line. Yeah, I agree. Because then I might not want to try again, because then I'll be like, no, nah, I like my free zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I gotta, I gotta try while I'm still feeling the baby thing. 